Hello, greetings. It's a great privilege to have you listening and also watching. Uh, it's a great Sunday that God has granted unto me, also unto you, and I uh, hope He's going to bless us. This particular hour, I'm going to talk about trusting God and you will be blessed. Trust in God and you will be blessed. I like to read from Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 and 8. The Bible says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is, it, is the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water, and that sends out its roots by the stream, and does not fear when heat comes. For its leaves remain green, and is not anxious in year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. My brother and my sister, uh, I would like to remind us that God is ready to bless our lives. God is there, ready to be there for us. He is calling us to remove every type of fear out of our hearts. If there is anything that we, people are moved by at this particular season, it is the fear. It can be the fear of failure. It can be the fear of an unknown. You don't know what tomorrow holds, or you're sick. You're fearing you don't know how your children are going to be. I've come to remind you, if there's any person you can entrust yourself to, you can entrust your life to, that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Because whenever you entrust your life in Him, He is going to take away the fear in your life. You need to put all your hope in Him. Because he's the only person that is stable. He's the only person that is sure. We are sure in him. Whenever we trust in him, we rely on him, we are very sure that he's able to take care of our future. When we repent, all the other hopes that we have, it means we are trusting our lives in him. Every other thing that we were looking forward to, maybe it was the army of men, maybe it was the chariots of fire, maybe it was your money, maybe it was your job, you had put all your fear in it. You can repent that and call upon the name of the Lord and tell Him you are putting your trust in Him. You need to acknowledge Him in everything you do, in your job, in your gifts and the talents that God has given unto you. You need to uh, and trust all the things that God has given to you and to Him. You can do that by entrusting yourself in following His Word. His Word is life unto us. His Word is able to keep us. That's why Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. You see, when He's saying, putting our trust in Him, it's just not an outward works of ceremony, not from the outside, we don't need to show it from the outside. We need to do it from the heart, we trust the Lord from the heart. We need to align our hearts to, to look into Jesus, to look into Him, past our circumstances, past everything that we're passing through, because He alone is a trustworthy God. Every other gods, they are the works of men. Every other goes, they have been made by the hands of men. But He alone, He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. He alone is the one who created the sun and the moon. He created us. Since He created us, if we entrust Him, He is a trustworthy God. A God that will never fail us. A God that is always there for us. In times of darkness, in times of fear, in times of uh, pain, failure, and death, He is always there. You see, when you put your trust in Him, you're going to flourish. You're going to grow up. Just like it says, it's like a tree planted by the water, meaning there's flourishing. There's growth that is going to come. Your security will become unshakable. If you're putting your security in your job, you're putting your security in your bank, if you're putting your security on your parents and the people you have, they are mortal people, bodies. Your money can go, your lands can go, but he alone is unshakable. No one can move him. You see, when hard times comes, 
you will endure if you're looking into him. Just like the tree that is planted by the waterside, even when it comes to the times of drought, the roots of this tree is going to draw its water from the river. You see, Jesus Christ is our river. He is our life. He is the source of our life. He is the source who can sustain us in times of pandemics, in times of accidents, in times of luck, hunger. He is always faithful. His source never dry at all. You see, the Bible doesn't promise us that when we trust in God, we are going to avoid trials. But rather, we are sure that even in times of trials, He is going to be with us. You see, every believer that trusts in Christ Jesus is always about circumstances, meaning circumstances are coming our way, but we are going to overcome it. We are above it. You see, trials are used by God to strengthen us. When we see trials in our way, they are there to strengthen us. They are there to strengthen you and me. But do you know what? The remnant, these are the believers, they will always get renewed because their roots are very deep in Jesus Christ. Their hope is in Jesus Christ alone. Their trust in it is in Him. They are going to flourish continually, bearing fruit because of the glory of Jesus Christ. They are doing that because they are trusting Jesus Christ. But the people who trust in men, mortal bodies, they have a problem because they're going to be like uh, they're going to be cursed. Their strength, because the, in verse five it says, "Curses the man who trusts in man, and makes flesh his strength, whose heart turns away from the Lord." He's like a shrub in the desert, and shall not see any good come. He shall dwell in the parched places of the wilderness, in an inhabited salt land. My brother and my sister. God is good. He uses men to bless the men. But He wants us to look unto Him. He wants us to put our focus and our faith in Him alone. That's why I like to remind you, even in times of sickness, in times of drought, in times of hunger, it is Him alone we can look unto. In times of trials and sufferings, pain, we can always look unto Him because He's a trustworthy God. When you trust in Him, you're going to be blessed. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for granting us this word this particular hour. That whenever we are trusting in you, we are going to be blessed. How I pray that your blessing is coming our way this particular hour. Because you are so sovereign and you are so great. Thank you because of your tender mercies. Thank you because of your loving kindness that is showing unto us. For any person that is passing through sickness, I am asking for your healing, Jesus Christ. Any person who is in trials, I pray Jesus Christ that He is strengthening them, removing whenever you're going to remove them, they are going to be a changed people. We honor your name, King of Glory, and we bless your name. It's in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Blessings.